connection available? Yes, okay. I just had a hiccup on my network, so hopefully it's working okay. All right, let me start. Let's start again just in case. So this episode number 972, I'm going to talk about today about do you know what you really want? And I'm going to throw this out there with some with three pieces, which is ask you some questions, give you some guidance, and offer you some next steps. That's not what I said earlier, but I'm saying it now. <laughs> so, um, as I said, this is episode 972. I've done these talks for a long time now, in case you're wondering, and I'll tell you more about that at the back end when you find the replays. But what I'm speaking to here actually is about life in general, because what I really want to speak to is not so much what can you get, but how can you feel? That's a big paradigm shift, by the way. So let me say this another way. A lot of times we say, what do you want? We're thinking, well, I want to get a house. I want to get a car. I want to get a relationship. I want to get a new phone. The question, though, isn't about that. I should say the, 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 the intention behind it is not about that. It's about what is it you get out of having that? See, the thing about what do you want, if you know what you want, it's not about necessarily the thing you get, the physical thing, whatever that is, the 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 um, attachment, hmm, material attachment. It's more about what experience you're looking for. What do you want to feel? So if you want to get a new job, do you want to feel useful? Do you want to feel service, like serving? Do you feel, want to feel connected? Do you want to feel valuable? Do you want to feel successful? Do you want to feel creative? See, just one job has many different reasons for getting it. Same is true with a relationship. Yes, even relationship, but relationship has many flavors. So you want to get a new relationship, great. So how, what is it you want to feel because of that? Do you want to feel like you're at home? Do you want to feel exhausted from all the sex? <laughs> Do you want to feel um, connected? Do you want to feel intimate? Do you want to feel safe? Do you want to feel supported? Do you want to feel like you're in partnership? These are the things I want to talk about because frankly, if you get that part first, everything else gets easier. So yes, you may have some goals some intentions. And I know I spoke about this at the end of the beginning of the month about resolutions versus intentions, big paradigm shift. Hope you got that. But the thing is that for most of us, we look at the world of what we want to get by what we see as a, hmm, I was going to say an icon, maybe it's not the right word, but a, 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 refer, a, a representation is a good word, a representation. Because for example, I know that I've been looking for a car, just to be transparent. And I was gifted, thanks to a friend of mine who went out of town for, th for three months, her car to use for three months. It's not the car I would want necessarily, but it's comfortable, it's reliable, it goes where I need to go and it looks okay. So what's coming up for me is that I have freedom, I have access to go where I want to go, I have independence of having to go, be able to go without relying on anybody else. Those are three things to start with that I get from having a vehicle to drive. So I'm sure you get this understanding, the difference between getting something and then the experience you have from it. Because when you understand this piece, it's a game changer. It is absolutely a game changer. So let me speak to a couple of things, particularly in relationship. Because there are things that people do in relationship, yes, I'm going to go here with it, where what they're actually trying to get, and they're trying to get it, isn't what they're really looking for. How many times in relationships have you tried, to, have you tried, I'm using that word try a lot, how many times in a relationship have you wanted to be the one that was right, but you didn't really want to be right? Maybe you wanted to be loved instead. Maybe you wanted to be accepted. Maybe you wanted to be approved of. Maybe you wanted to be loved by the other person because you thought by being right, they would love you more. And the funny thing is that when you were right, they didn't love you more, they loved you less. This is the thing about understanding the feeling behind the experience, or I should say the feeling behind the, um, what bucket to put that in? The attachment we have to certain things is a maybe a mistaken approach. So this is a this is a big, big, big shift in understanding when you get this because it really does change the way you approach life, in your relationships, in your um, pursuits and goals of things you want to get. Like I know on my list of things this year, one of my intentions this year is to speak on stage, to actually speak to bigger audiences in person where I can connect with them, more than more than doing it through this virtual medium. But the thing is that in doing that. The thing is in doing that, let me try another way. My understanding, recognizing why I want to do it is not because I want to go get something, but it's what I want, what I want to do is I want to be able to actually um, impact people in a way that lands. There's something for me visceral about speaking to an audience in person that's much more impactful for me and for them than it is through a screen like this or through a podcast or through some other platform. So that when I speak on stage, has many, many benefits, and I'm aware of quite a few of them. Not all of them, I'm sure. But first of all, it means that I'm really on my cutting edge. This is one of the things why I'm doing it, because I know I need to stretch. And this is my this is what my big next step to step into is speaking on stage. And the intention is to do it is to do it in an interactive format. 
no speeching, no speechifying, no long lectures. It's going to be, give me your questions, let me answer them. And that is a huge shift for me. Because for me, what I'm really come clear about is my next level of evolution is to become bigger and more resourceful to people who I work with. And speaking on stage is the shortcut to that. So yes, the goal is to speak on stage, but the true real goals is to be more connected, to be able to serve bigger and better, to inspire people directly and see that inspiration in front of me. Yes, it's a selfish act. I want to see that inspiration happening in front of me. But that's the attachment. So understanding that the goal is not so much what you want to get, but where you want to go, how you want to experience what you want to be part of, is a massive possible, massive change to the way you do things. This is a this is a a topic I didn't plan on talking about, but it's a it's a big paradigm shift. I, learned, I did actually learn about this. I'm saying separating like what is you want to get to how you want to feel. I learned this th over thirty years ago, and now it's coming up again for me to teach and to learn because as a teacher, I'm learning too. So this is for me as much as it is for you. So I'm being selfish again. Sorry. <laughs> So I hope you're understanding this clearly. I want you to take this to heart because I love it. In fact, if you want to put in the comments your thoughts about this, I welcome that, which is what is the goal you have? And then what is it you want to feel because of that goal? Because the thing is, there's a big piece that I haven't talked about yet is once you understand that your goal is to maybe get to this place, but the truth is you want to feel this instead, you can actually shortcut and go straight for the feeling. Now, it doesn't mean you don't go for the goal, but it means that when you have the feeling already in place, the goal is actually easy to, easy to access because the thing about it is and this is law of attraction stuff in a way, is when you understand what the feelings you want to have when you get that goal, then you can go for the feeling first, and you can start getting a resonant frequency. It's like having a tuning fork. And when you resonate at that frequency of what you are feeling, then the goal you tied it to can show up more easily because it's aligned. So this is a, it's a, this is a different way of approaching goal setting. It starts from feeling, not from vision. Or from um, physical stuff. So understanding is a piece again. So again, you have a goal you want to go for. What do you want to feel when you get that goal? Now can you focus on the feeling alone without the goal and actually feel what it feels like to be there? When you have that feeling anchored, then your goal becomes easier. That, by the way, is a, is a, is a whole new architecture to how you get your goals. And you're welcome. You can take one home with you. So this is part of the stuff I'm teaching in my new course, the, the BFF Masterclass. But I wanted to still speak that piece out because it was sitting on my lap and I hadn't shared it out for a while. And I thought, well... I want to get this out and speak it to you. So here's a little teaching piece for you to play with. I invite you to look at it. Take it apart. I mean, I've given you the, the teaching. Play with it and see if it works. And please let me know in the comments what it is that you have as a goal and what's the feeling you have tied to that goal. Because I can, I can help you work through it a little bit more efficiently if you're ready. So with that, I think that, makes, that gives you something to play with, some little, little juicy morsel to play with. Um, the link, the links I'm going to put in the comments will include my BFF Masterclass because that's what I'm recommending. Um, also throw, throw a couple of things in as well to keep you busy. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is my daily Facebook Live. I do every day of the week, seven days a week, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time. A little bit off today, but close enough. Um, on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. You can watch um, that live if you join me live here every day. Love to see you if you want to interact. And it's great to have a conversation directly on, in, in the app. If you want to watch my replays, which I'd love you to watch if you haven't seen them before, because I've got 971 before this, you can watch them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Please like my business page. Um, although Facebook's only showing about 200 of them, which is kind of like not enough. So I did make a backup plan, which is have them on YouTube. So I have a YouTube channel where they're all saved for you to watch. So if you go to youtube.com slash user slash barryselby, you can subscribe to my channel. And on there's a playlist called Messages from the Masculine, where all of my broadcasts live and you can scan through ones and find ones that will speak to you. So your homework now, as I've already given you, is, is basically focus on what goal you want to have and then the feeling that goes with it. And let me know in the comments what that is. If you want to message me over social media, you can do that. If you want to keep it private, you can message me as well. But I want to know what you're up to and how I can help you get there because it would be fun to have some support, wouldn't it? So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll be back in tomorrow, same time, same channel, um, episode 973. And uh, I invite you to come play with me again, as always. Links will be in the comments. Please check them out. And uh, as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.